dangerous throwing skills has Miriam Roper. Powerful throw. We saw Nakoda Smith Davis with that strong Oji carry, but Roper has got equally good leg techniques. Maybe we will see a come up with a Kosoto Gaki, which is one of her favorite techniques. There's the attack. Can follow it up. Once Ferhagen had stepped off that, that was nice turn. That was just the tear was a nice turn with the hands there, bringing up that score. So a lead for Miriam Roper. In Almost turned her again there. Strong upper body as Miriam Roper, but she's got good timing and she puts that to, to good use. And when she, she's ready, can she uh, execute some powerful techniques? Slightly laboured looking Makikomi effort there from Rob. Fahagen looks a little bit laboured at the moment. I'm not surprised. He's only just coming back from injury, but she's not her usual. And there's a, a bit of spark missing at the moment from Fahagen. She carries with her when you watch her in contest this degree of danger. You always think she's going to throw you or throw someone else not me but <laughs> that just that feel about son of Hagen and I, I can't see it here yet as I say she's still coming back So Roper took the early lead. He's uh, hung on to that. Hagen's been chasing ever since, and it'll be Roper to pick up a penalty here. Half a minute left to go. Hagen hasn't been able to get close to him. Roper's maintained that strong upper body to keep Hagen out and just close her down. It's almost attractive of situations. It's certainly. One that will bring us some, some degree of success, though. And to be honest, that's what she's concerned about at the moment, making sure she takes this medal. Quick look at the clock. A little bit more leaning in with the right shoulder and keeping Sanna Fihagen out. They could very well have penalised her again there, but she's back on the mat and come through physically unscathed, despite the fact that she will be disappointed.